Now let's see what happens when I have what is known as a forward BIOS configuration. So if I connect my PN junction diode to a DC voltage such that the positive terminal is connected to the P guy and the negative terminal is connected to the N guy then what I have is a forward bias configuration okay now this is also represented symbolically like this you must be knowing this is the symbol for your PN junction diode this is your P type this is your N type so it is represented like this okay so let's see what happens you have connected a external voltage okay this external voltage this is your positive sign this is your negative sign right so this external voltage corresponds to a electric field which is like this okay therefore this electric field opposes this electric field that has been set up in your depletion region okay therefore the net electric field becomes less than what it was earlier okay so if I say that this voltage is VF that is forward bias voltage then the voltage that I have in this potential barrier which was earlier V0 now becomes V0 minus VF okay so you have lesser resistance to your majority charge carriers okay so your holes are now going to move to N region and your electrons are now going to move to P region the reason being this voltage has been reduced okay so more diffusion is going to happen and your depletion region basically is narrowed okay so forward bias increases your diffusion current okay and it reduces your drift current okay since diffusion is happening due to majority charge carriers okay therefore your diffusion current is going to be high and in forward bias configuration a high current flows through your PN junction diode okay and the reason for this high current is the resistance offered by your depletion region is reduced okay your depletion region now has narrowed down okay so you have large current flowing in this direction look your bias voltage which is your VF has effectively reduced your net electronic electric field okay since your net electric field is reduced your drift current automatically is reduced right and your diffusion current is increased okay since this potential barrier now has gone down okay so you have large amount of charge carriers flowing in this direction okay so when we are talking about holes it is flowing in this direction and we are talking about electrons it is flowing in this direction therefore your net current is flowing in this direction the reason being diffusion current is greater than your drift current okay your drift current is flowing in this direction your diffusion current is in this direction and since this is much greater your net current is going to flow in this direction okay let's again look at this figure what we are seeing is due to enhanced diffusion my holes are going to the N region okay in the N region your holes are the minority charge carriers okay your electrons are the majority charge carriers so essentially what we are doing is injecting minority charge carriers into N and injecting minority charge carriers into P okay just see your N is pushing